Hello everybody, and thank you for joining me for another Sketchbook Sunday episode. I know I already said this in last week's episode, but I am so happy to be back painting landscape paintings. I really miss them uh, because in painting flowers, landscape paintings just have so much more potential because they have a lot more layers. So. You never really know how a painting is going to turn out, whereas when you're painting a flower, it um, it's pretty obvious what your flower is going to look like just based off the first um, layer or two. Whereas, you know, this one, for example, you're, you're watching me paint this background, but you have no idea what this painting is going to be or what it's going to turn into. There's just so much possible potential and that's part of the reason why I love painting nature. It can just turn into whatever I want it to turn into. I can add a tree, I can turn a mistake into a canoe, you know? There are just so many different options when painting um, nature and landscapes. So I hope you decide to stick around for this Sketchbook Sunday episode as I update you on what has been going on in my life, I know that in my previous um, floral paintings, when I was doing those real-time floral tutorials the last couple months, I chatted a lot about... Um, well, actually, I didn't chat much, much at all in those videos just because I was just so busy doing so many things around our little home in the woods, and um, I figured I would catch you guys up on what I've been up to. First off, I have to say that I have just been so, so happy. Um, I am finally living a lifestyle that is really suitable to me and I'm basically just doing what I love all day, every day. I spend all day outside and there's always something to do. I'm never bored. And the first few months we spent a lot of time doing really necessary fixes, like things that had to be fixed in the house, um, you know, structural things. Then we sort of moved on to things that were um, not necessarily unimportant, but they were just um, things that made our life a little bit more convenient. And then we started moving on to the aesthetic things. Uh, so lowest priority, but um, definitely things that make the little homestead feel and look much more cozy. Um, so a lot has been keeping me busy and the primary thing that's been keeping me busy has been my vegetable garden. That itself was a major project that took um, months to really put together because first we had to clear a large area from trees and weeds and a bunch of other things and then we had to have somebody come out uh, with a rototiller and till up the whole place. Um, next was getting the lumber, which is basically the price of gold at this point, and constructing the whole thing. And considering we had a fairly, we have a fairly large garden, we are building a fairly large garden, it's, it's actually bigger than our house. <laughs> it's like a thousand square feet, so it wasn't, you know, a, a, a one day project to build this thing. It took months. Like then we had to get the soil delivered and then of course I was growing all my vegetables from seed um, since March. Um, so I, I was, you know, keeping track of those and there was just a heck of a lot going on in terms of that garden. But I have recently started to finally reap the rewards of my vegetable vegetable garden. I harvest greens on a daily basis now. Um Parsley, lettuce, kale, uh, arugula, all of those are growing in abundance right now and we have fresh greens every single day for lunch and dinner and it is just everything I ever wanted in a lifestyle. It's, it's very rewarding to, you know, be able to grow your own food and, and enjoy it the same day at the dinner table. Anyways, I will be chatting more about what I've been up to and the projects that I'm getting up to um, in some videos 
going forward. But that's about it for today's Sketchbook Sunday. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, painting. If you did, I encourage you to subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. Um, also consider liking this video and submitting a comment if there's something that you would like to share um, or you have a farm or homestead of your own that you would like to um, share in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.